What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome to part two of building the front aprons for our 1965 Ford Mustang. As you guys seen in the previous episode, we have these cardboard templates all cut out and basically ready to go. And we did actually get a little care package from our guys over at HTP. We got a TIG welding set up, which is gonna be freaking awesome because especially whenever you're welding like thinner material, like all the stuff inside there, I think it's better to TIG weld it instead of MIG weld it because this right here, you can actually fuse metal together. So let's go ahead and see what we have in our box. We have the tungsten rods right here and we got some nice stickers from HTP. Let's go ahead and check this out. Oh man, that's nice. Check that out guys, a 25 foot torch, which is gonna be perfect for everything we need to do on this car, especially if like we're getting underneath and everything. And I think we also, oh, we got some consumables. Heck yeah. Can't wait to actually start TIG welding. Cause I used to do a little bit of TIG welding back in the day, like on the other Mustang. And I absolutely loved just the way you can like make all the welds. And the fact that sometimes you don't even have to use any weld material to fuse stuff together. And then I think this is our pedal setup. Oh yeah. So we have our pedal set up right here. Bam, now that's freaking sick. Nice little pedal set up right there. TIG welding is definitely the better option, especially when you're doing a lot of fabrication, especially like with our thinner uh, welds that we're gonna have to do like on the fenders with the wide body stuff. So that's freaking awesome. I can't wait to get to using it. But now let's come back to the car. So basically we have everything lined up, ready to go. Now all we have to do is basically trace these uh, cardboard templates. And unfortunately we didn't do any bead rolling on the cardboard because I think we're just gonna throw it away after. But I'm just kidding guys. So I think the first thing we need to do is go ahead and grab these cardboard templates and start transferring it to metal. We did also get some new steel from the steel store. And they always give us a good deal. They hook everything up. And everything right now is just kind of held on by this uh, bar right here in the center. And then we have this little jack right here so we can adjust the heights of the fenders to line everything up. And even though, guys, these are aftermarket fenders, they do line up pretty good. We're still going to have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there to get everything nice and perfect. But the cool thing is we're building our custom aprons. We're building everything. And these holes do have a lot of adjustment. So once, once we build the aprons, we'll make sure we put the right in the center so then if we have to move or adjust anything and I do also have the hood hinges in my truck and he actually go get them so I'm not sure how we're gonna mount those on the firewall but I think we'll figure out a way so let's go ahead and get to it so we're gonna go ahead and take off these cardboard uh, templates put it on the metal cut it all out and I'll show you guys when I'm done
So guys, check it out. We got both side panels in here and I did kind of use the template and I basically made a little bit of a rough draft because you know, the templates are not 100%, but we got these all cut out. Now all we're gonna have to do is basically grab the marker and trace perfectly along this area right here. Don't worry guys, we are gonna be putting the braces that actually hold the fender. And then this is actually gonna get welded to those braces, but I just wanna get this all lined up. And I did see a couple of comments saying, how are the wheels gonna fit in here? So we actually have an S2000 over here. I kind of want to take the wheel off of it and kind of just stick it in here because we are going to be going with similar uh, sizes. I think we're going to go with uh, two 65s in the front, I think, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and take off the rear wheel and see how it fits up over here. Got these nice Tecton sockets. Kind of like these things. We don't have to use a chrome socket anymore because people were complaining. So we got black ones now. Oh, somebody was definitely doing some burnouts with this thing. But see, this is a 17 inch wheel, I think. Yeah, these are 17s at 255, 17. So that's kind of what we want to run in the front of this car. Oh, so. Dude, we got plenty, look at this. There is ton, look, that's all the way in, but our wheels are gonna sit like right here. Yeah, well, we're still gonna, I don't know if we'll use exactly these, but we are getting some uh, wide body fender floors, but they're gonna be basically like factory, but just a little bit further out. So it's not gonna be a lot more than it is. But as you can see, guys, I can literally stick this wheel all the way up in here. Like, look at this. So that is gonna be perfect enough clearance to slam this car like that. So yeah, we do have enough clearance. And this is a 255. So it's a pretty wide wheel, it's not the widest, I think we might go with like 265, 275, somewhere around there, which is gonna be a little bit wider. And we're gonna get the correct uh, offset so we can stick the wheel out just a little bit. I wanna keep the look of the wide body, basically almost OEM, but just slightly wider. So there it goes, guys. It answers all your guys' questions if the wheels will fit in there. And they're gonna fit perfectly. So if you wanna slam the car all the way down to the ground, we'll still have nice clearance in there. So let's just continue working. So now all we need to do is go ahead and make the perfect outlines right here. And then we can go ahead and take both pieces off. I did just go ahead and put some self tappers. And what that does is just holds it perfectly in position. So we're gonna grab a marker, mark all this, take it back off and do a nice final cut. And then we'll probably clean it all up with some uh, with the grinder and the flat disc.
So guys, check it out. We got both side pieces in. I didn't even bolt them on, but man, look how perfect it lines up to the fenders. Obviously, I can just go over with the grinder a little bit right here, but this top piece right here will have to be welded to the support brace that's gonna be holding the actual fenders to the car. So we're not gonna grind any of that yet, but man, check that out. It looks freaking killer in here. So now that we have both apron pieces on, what I wanna go ahead and do is start building the supports for the fenders and have this one inch by one inch square tubing. And this is gonna be literally perfect to go underneath the fender right there. And then all we'll have to do is drill holes in here uh, either weld some bolts or tap it and that will basically hold the fender to the car the only thing is as you can see guys it goes straight right there and then it kind of bends down so we're gonna have to make like a bend right here i remember doing it on the other car and it turned out pretty good this is the way i'm gonna bend it. i'm gonna go ahead and clamp this down to this fender and then we can get an exact reading of how we need to bend it down so pretty much literally just needs to be bent right here i'm guessing it starts like right here so i do have a little technique i'm gonna use to bend it I'm about to show you guys in a second. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and make the mark exactly where, basically where it meets, where it starts lifting up. So I think, let's see under here. Uh, okay. So yeah, it pretty much starts going down right here. And then I got this cool technique. It's called the two bender 3000. All right. Yeah, so all we're gonna do is basically jam this under here. Oh, it won't. Before we bend it, I'm actually gonna go ahead and slice off pretty much exactly what we do not need, and that's like right there. All right, we got that tip cut off. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and make our bend. So basically all we're gonna do, is stick this in here. It's called the Auto Bender 3000. Bent a little bit. Yeah, I think that's all we need too. Look at that, we made a bend there. Made a bend here. Bam. So it's perfectly flush everywhere. You see that? Oh yeah. There's great. a little gap right here, but that's just where I grinded a little bit more. You did great. It's literally perfect though. Now we just have to build one more of these for that side. All right guys, so we got one side made and you can kind of see how much of a bend we actually did right there. So, I mean, you can do a lot of stuff without using the proper tools, which is. Okay, we're gonna make the exact same bends, the precise calculations. This bend first. Yeah. The Auto Bender three thousand. Oh, I think I bent it way too much, boys. Dang, that one bent way too easy. Kind of creased it a little bit too, so we gotta take it back to the Unbender 3000. <laughs> I don't know why it bent so... Unbender 3000. Bam. Hit her up. This one goes. Kind of sucks that. My, ah, that's going to be fine. That's going to be underneath. So, guys, we got both sides bent. 
and they're not gonna sit on top like this. They're actually gonna go underneath the fender. Now what I wanna do is make this cross bar that's gonna go in the front right here. And I wanna bend, I don't, I'm not gonna actually, I probably won't do that same technique. I'm probably just gonna cut the tube because I kinda wanna mimic this front grill area right here. And it's also gonna be the center line of the car. So let's grab another tube and make this center area. more of a beat when we go. Ooh, that's perfect. So check it out guys, we got this center bar right here made exactly how the factory grill is. And it's not gonna go right here, I think it's gonna go a little bit closer like right there. And then the radiator is gonna get also bolted to this right here. And then we'll probably have a flat piece of metal right there going through there. So everything's gonna look super clean and flush. And then this area right here, I can just weld up really nice and then just grind it all down super good. So I think that turned out pretty good for this little quick little five minute bend right there. But we're not gonna do any of that until we get our holes drilled. I'm still not sure how I wanna do it because I was thinking about just drilling a hole and then just welding a nut to that. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be strong. So maybe what I'll do is I'll drill a hole all the way through and then put a nut at the bottom. So I got kind of a dilemma right there. Still gotta do a little bit of research. But guys, this engine bay is gonna look clean. Let me just tell you about that. And then, bam, after we get this side piece in, I'll probably also throw some supports on the side right here coming down. And then we can work on our radiator area right there. Actually, let me go grab the radiator. People are saying that the radiator is too big. Too big? Ain't no such thing as a big, a too big of a rig. Well, it does sit a little bit close. So what I'm thinking is we'll probably notch the frame out a little bit. Notch the frame out a little bit and then lower it down. I mean, it, it literally fits perfectly. The hood will just go right over the top. It does fit a little bit close on the sides, which kind of sucks. So I think maybe we'll just put like a little, uh, I'll probably just cut the frame a little bit and then box it in just so there's about like an inch on each side and then we'll have some rubber bushings on the radiator. So it will never contact, because I know if it contacts with the frame, it will rub a hole through it. So don't worry guys, we'll make sure that it won't do it. And then bam, look, check that out. Then there'll be just mount, I want to, I need to grab some uh, aluminum and then we're gonna weld tabs that come off here to this bar right here and that's what's gonna hold it together. So guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. We got a lot of work done. We got all the metal, cut out all the bars, pretty much ready to weld up onto the car. We still need to figure out a couple mounting holes for our uh, fender braces here because I wanna make it super nice and secure. But guys, it is literally coming together. I can't wait to get the engine in this thing. Hopefully, we're still waiting on those engine mounts, man. I wish I wish we can get those in pretty quick so we can drop the engine in here and see how everything looks. But it's turning out pretty good. The next episode, we'll go ahead and weld everything together, get all this stuff secured on the car. And then I guess maybe we'll even put the engine in and kind of start figuring out how to do the transmission tunnel so we can knock the transmission tunnel out. And bam, the whole entire engine bay will be ready to go. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like, maybe subscribe if you want to. Also follow us on Instagram at VTune and also check out VTune.com for some cool new merch. Thanks for watching.